That's very kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> there are many people who call themselves agnostic, and I want to clarify this. It's rather a confusing term. I put up here a scale of religiosity from one to seven, where one is, I know there is a God, and seven is, I know there is no God, and we've got a scale of intermediate agnostic positions in between. Four is exactly 50%. Number four agnostic believes that the probability of God existing and not existing is exactly equal. Number two is, I don't exactly know there's a God, but I have a very high probability. I believe in a very high probability of there being a God. I'm a de facto theist. I can't know for certain, but I strongly believe in God and live my life on the assumption that he's there. Uh, a number six, at the other end, is somebody who believes there's a very low probability of God existing, but still not quite zero. I'm a de facto atheist. I can't know for certain, but I think God is very improbable, and I live my life on the assumption that he isn't there. I'm a number six. I'm an agnostic, but with the same level of belief in God as I have belief in fairies or unicorns. <laughs> Bertrand Russell illustrated this with his parable of the celestial teapot. Uh, he pointed out that it is impossible to disprove the hypothesis that there is a China teapot in orbit around Earth, or around the Sun, between the orbits of Earth and Mars. We therefore all have to be agnostic about the teapot theory, but in practice we are all a teapotists. <laughs> I want to make it clear that the agnostic position does not, should not, be confused with an exact 50-50 probability position. There are people who quite wrongly and illogically say, you can neither prove nor disprove the existence of God, Therefore, there's an exactly 50% probability of God existing. It's like tossing a penny. That, of course, is completely illogical. Just because you cannot disprove something, and the, and the teapot example shows that, it doesn't mean the odds of it being there are 50%, and you can quickly see that with the example of the teapot.